Hey, what's up, royal fans? Let's dive into another headline. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry slam for repetitive rant. Heard it all before. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been criticized for being repetitive by royal commentators. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry appeared on Time 100 upon the release of the publication's most influential people. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex discussed the topic of enduring a better world. But royal commentators Rachel Bowie and Roberto Ferrito said their responses seemed repetitive. Speaking on the Royally Obsessed podcast, Ms. Bowie said, I really like that in the way William is taking on the environment and stuff like that, this is becoming a huge tentpole for Harry and Meghan. I like the sort of message that is like, so many communities are being targeted by hate and technology is amplifying what's credible and true. Yesterday in particular just really anchored the fact for me that when we take it on a personal level, we can quit Facebook. I've been trying to be more purposeful about my social media use, but this is a systematic problem. I'm definitely on board with their message, Ms. Ferrito added. What is the action though? The Sussexes have had a lot of these talks and listening to this part of Time 100 episode, it felt a little repetitive. When the editor-in-chief of Time asked them how are you doing and they did the whole how are we really doing, they just talked about that again in a way that felt a little too canned because we've heard it a couple of times. What's the plan? It comes as Meghan and Harry launched the website for their charitable organization Archwell. A landing page has been set up for the venture with those interested invited to submit their email addresses to receive updates about activities and initiatives. The meaning of Archwell, which was inspired by their son's name, is described for newcomers with arch, the Greek word meaning source of action, and well, a plentiful source or supply, a place we go to dig deep. The website was launched to coincide with the couple's appearance on Tuesday on the Time 100 talks when they spoke about the global crisis of misinformation that spreads online. Harry and Meghan, who live in California after stepping down as working royals for financial freedom, also talked about how the internet affected critical issues, from racial equality to mental health. With coronavirus dominating much of life across the globe, the Duke and Duchess appear to have decided to have a soft launch for Archwell, which replaced their Sussex Royal Foundation, which has been formally wound up. They have been working behind the scenes on the foundation, which is expected to champion issues they support. Racial justice, gender equality, climate change, mental health, and online hate speech. Academics and professors from Stanford University also took part in a brainstorming session with the couple as they developed their project. After signing a lucrative deal with the streaming giant Netflix, rumored to be worth more than £150 million, the Duke and Duchess have the funds to enact their ideas. No money, no honey, right? Guys, thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Hit that bell icon for the latest updates and I'll catch you tomorrow. That's all for today. Goodbye for now.